Frequency tables tend to trip people up. So strip it down to the base components. I've recreated the table that's at the bottom of your screen up here. Now, there's two major parts to these tables, these frequency tables. This column, which is our class size for this example, is our value column. By the way, check out the weighted average of the video because we talk about these concepts and we talk about a frequency table where we calculate weighted average. Now, this is the value column. And essentially, these are the categories that we're sorting the numbers into, right? And at least here, they're somewhat arbitrary, right? I could say like under 8 or, un or under 12 or something. But this is how we're sorting things. And then this is the number of things that goes in each category. It's the frequency. I'm going to say it's the number because I think that's a little friendlier. But frequency is how often, right? How often is a class under 10? Now, median is middle value. If you have any trouble with median at all, I really encourage you to check out the median video because it's actually really helpful. But let's leave that aside. The most common mistake I see on these problems is people pick one of these sort of middle ranges, right? Because they say, well, median's middle number. These are already in order. I don't know what this is doing, and it's kind of intimidating. So, uh, whatever, 30 to 50, or 50 to 100, something like that. You have kind of, you're kind of halfway home, right? So you're right that these are in ascending order, and that, that actually will come into play. But if you just sort of pick a middle one, you're acting as though that these each happen the same number of times, and they don't. So what you need to do is you need to account for each occurrence. So to do that, and I wouldn't do it this way. I'll show you the way I would normally do it. You would say, well, I've got three under tens, right? And then blah, 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 blah all the way until you get to that middle value. By the way, since there are 30 of these, we're looking for the average of the 15th and 16th. Um, you can write a list like that out. I think it's a waste of time and you could make a mistake, although these are usually fairly forgiven. I think the easiest way to do it is figure out which value you need to get to. So 15th, 16th, shouldn't have to average, can't really average those together here. So start at the beginning. Well, these are my first three values. Then this is my fourth through ninth value. This is my 10th through 13th value. And then this is my 14th through 18th value. And you'll see it's sitting right, the 15th and 16th are sitting right in the middle here. And that means it's 50 to 100. 50 to 100. Now, this, is, this data topic is pretty expansive. I've got two videos here, one where we do this and one where we talk about a bar chart, which is almost as frequent as this. There are two big topics that aren't covered in videos because I don't think they translate to video very well. One is picking the right numbers off of a table, which is harder than it sounds for most people. And the other is de dealing with uh, bivariate data and lines of regression. So, Really look at those in the book because there's a decent chance that those will pop up. And do check out the video on charts.